All right, guys. Welcome back to Southwest Louisiana Saltwater. My name's Ashton. And before we get started today, I just want to thank everybody. I had just hit 100 subscribers a couple days ago. I just want to take the time to thank y'all. And if y'all do enjoy, please subscribe. Uh, but today we're out on the beach. It's a beautiful day. It's a uh, one o'clock, and we got an incoming tide. Today I got some live croaker and some live mullet as well as some uh, dead croaker and, and mullet for a uh, cut bait. So I already got this little live croaker hooked up and I'm about to cast him out now. I'm not gonna waste any time right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it. I just wanted to real quick, once again, is thank everyone for subscribing. I am really grateful for that. But yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna cast this guy out. The water is real clean today. It's about three foot visibility for me, which is really good for the, uh, this area. Just gonna walk out to about waist deep before I make this cast. All right, that should be good. Cast this guy out. Now on the rod, I'm gonna be having the live bait on. I'm gonna have the drag set extremely light. I don't want any fish to fill it when they pick that, uh, pick the bait up. Go ahead and put a, some cut croaker out. Oh, cut this one's cut mullet, but I'm gonna put some cut croaker out as well. I'm gonna put the heads out on both of these. All right, so all three rods are casted out. We got a mullet head on that one, live croaker on the middle one, and then a croaker head on the end over here. All that's left to do now is let the tide come in and wait for a fish. So I'm just gonna sit back and relax until that happens. The line over here on this Rod just went really slack. We're on. That didn't take long at all, guys. Hasn't even been 10 minutes. Feels like a decent fish. Got some good head shakes. Just 
just slowly working it in. Oh, wasn't quite ready to come in yet. It's a nice little run right there. I haven't seen it yet. If I had to guess, I'm thinking red. But there ain't no telling what it could be out here. There it is, it's getting closer. I haven't seen it quite yet. Let's see, is it a red? That looks like a red to me, y'all. Oh, knock. Yep, nice big red. That's a beautiful red fish right there, y'all. Like I said, that did not take long at all. It hasn't even been 10 minutes since I casted everything out. And this is a big, beautiful red right here, guys. Let me get the measuring stick real quick. She's pushing. 38 and a half. This will be my biggest biggest for the year right here at 38 and a half. Just check out the colors on this fish. It's, that is just one beautiful redfish right here, you guys. Like I said, it's my biggest for the year at 39 and a half, 38 and a half. I'm gonna let her go. Don't want to keep her out of the water too long. I want her to swim off nice and strongly. She kicked, there she goes. Man, it's crazy how clear the water is out here right now. I guess that fish is like 10 feet away and I can still clearly see it. Oh, the live bait's going off. The croakers have been taken. There it is. Oh, we're on again. Just released our first fish and we're already on. I can't, this is a lighter setup. It's only 30 pound braid and a 80 pound four a liter, so I can't just power it in like I did on the other rod. Just gonna have to sit here and play it. Whew. Feels like it's gonna be another nice fish, y'all. Haven't seen it yet. It's getting closer though. I think I just saw a big shark fin out there, y'all. It was either a shark or a dolphin. But it looked more, uh, looked like a triangle fin. 
You know, I think there's a shark out there feeding y'all. That ain't what we're after today, though. We're after the redfish. And I'm pretty sure that's what we have on. Yeah, no, that's a shark out there feeding I'm seeing. It's about a 100, 150, to maybe 200 yards off. But yeah, it's a shark feeding right there at the surface. Whew. Just got to play this fish. Oh, no, he just came off. Oh, we lost it, guys. Oh. He came unhooked, guys. Oh, that hurts. That hurt. That hurt me, Oz. But it's all right. We got more bait. We get him back out. I probably should have put a little bit more pressure on him. But like I said, I didn't, this is just a lighter setup. I didn't want to force it too much. Grab another live bait real quick. There you go. This mullet should do nicely. Gonna nose hook this mullet. Get another live bait back out. I'm kind of sad I didn't get to see that fish that we just lost. It felt pretty good, but there ain't no telling how big or what it was without having seen it. Go ahead and get this live mullet out there. Go ahead and get this other half of this mullet out. Oh, it just got picked up already. I just threw this mullet out. I literally haven't even set the set it in the rod holder. It's already been picked up. This is crazy. I didn't even have time to set this in the rod holder before it was picked up by something. Feels pretty decent, similar to the first one. Oh, let's see, what's it gonna be? It's another red, y'all. Look at the colors on that one. Another beautiful redfish right here. I don't think this one's gonna be as big as the last one. 
I'm gonna grab the stick anyway. The live bait line's really slack. And nothing's there. Okay, cool. Get a measurement on our second fish right here. Gonna make 37. There's some, another beautiful redfish right here to start the day off with y'all. 37 inches on this one. We're gonna go ahead and let her go. Oh, there she goes. Look at her, just as fast as she can. Beautiful fish. Man, if the day keeps up like this, it's gonna be a really good day, y'all. Again, the live bait rod's really slack. Something's there this time, though. Doesn't feel too big, whatever it is. Might not have woken up yet, though. What's it gonna be? Is that a gaff top? Yeah, that's what I thought it felt like. Never gonna get away without catching a gaff top off the beach. And he's choked that mullet. Circle hook's pretty deep. Let's see if I can get it out. There it is. They will get it out. I pulled my mullet back out of his mouth. All right, I guess this is this guy's lucky day. Now you went the wrong way, dude. Come here. See, is he gonna figure it out? Yeah, you got it. All right. Oh, other rod's getting taken. I'm just going to toss this guy in the water right here so he stays fresh. Thumbs on this rod. There it is. Oh, this might be a shark, y'all. I ain't never seen a redfish run like that. Whew. Feels pretty heavy. Feeling some head shakes.
Ooh, ooh. Got some good weight to it. But other than that initial run, it hasn't really been fighting back. Oh, there it is. Come on. I don't want to lose another fish today. Was that a red I just saw? Yeah, that's another nice red. Got him. All the redfish today have been really fat. They've been eating good. This is this is a really big fish, guys. If this is as big as it looks to me, it might be a new personal best. Because it looks pretty big to me. My personal best is being is only like 42, 43 inches. And it was caught in this spot. I forget when, if it was last year, or the year before that. Ow. Whew. Yeah, that little big guy just drew blood on me. Trying to get the hook out of him. Trying to go get my hook pullers. He showed me for catching them, huh? All right. Go get the measuring stick. No, she, she's just a big girl. She's not very long, but she is, she does look, she's pretty wide and thick in the head. Made me think she was bigger. But she's only measuring in at 38. Just still a very nice fish. All the fish today have been fat and have really nice color to them. I'm gonna go ahead and let this big girl go. She is ready, she's fighting me. Come on. There she goes, swims off nicely. It's already three for the day. All right. We got the tail end of a croaker going out on this rod. All right, got that live croaker going back out. This rod just had a big hit on it real quick. There. 
There it is. Right, feels like another good fish. Oh, that rod's going off now too. Fish got some weight to it like all the others today. Not really fighting back too much though. Uh, almost got it. Let's see. It's not whatever it is, I don't think it's too big. Looks like another red. Yeah, it's a good size one. This one's darker than the others. Got the circle hook out. This one got some nice spots on them. Gonna go grab the measuring stick real quick. This one's gonna be 38 as well another nice beautiful bull red right here guys I'm gonna go ahead and get this girl back and check that other check the live bait rod there she goes I doubt there'll be anything still on it, but I'm going to go ahead and reel it in and check it. Oh, the croaker's still there. But he's torn up pretty bad. Looks like some crabs got to him. I'm not too sure what happened to this guy. I'm thinking maybe some crabs got to him. I'm gonna go ahead and just change it, him out, put a fresh one on.